Uh, well, good uh, day to you. We are on Arca Linux, one of the latest builds. And we have uh, never talked about or made a video about Stacer. Now, Stacer can be interesting. It's not on the ISO. It's already in our scripts for Arc Linux D and also on the Nemesis scripts, but um, never actually made a video about it. So, here you go. Sorry. Yay, Stacer. And it's called Ubuntu System Optimizer. There's also Stacer bin, which always is interesting. So Git comes from a GitHub. Stacer is, you build it uh, yourself. And bin, it's already built and it's just unpacked. So the fastest thing to have around is a bin. So I'm gonna get that one. Oh, that's not good. Yes. And as you can see, it's an AMD 64 DEP. So I keep telling you that uh, AOR, Arch User Repository, comes from everywhere. It comes from, in this case, a Debian package, right? And if you want to go, why not uh, make a little bit, uh, make you smarter in the, in the sense that yay is in here. And a lot of yays are in here, but the Stacer thingy, Stacer, Stacer, why are you? Stacer bin, you can always read the package build here. So if you want to know where is it coming from, from a GitHub, from this guy, Stacer releases download and then version and the version numbers or variables kept over here. So that's how you know where it's coming from. It's a GitHub. So that's all done. That's uh, that's this installing. Now, if the if you scrolled up, then it stops. Um, well, you need to go scroll down, but scrolling down is is way too difficult. Just press the space bar you're down at the bottom. So the spacer is installed. A stacer is better word. So let's take a look. It's already known since we have an icon for it. So the application is now installed and this is what comes from Ubuntu. So Arca Linux, okay, platform rights, uh, mm -hmm, kernel release, mm -hmm, CP model, all right, everything correct. Downloads, uh, the speed of the download, he found my uh, Network devices, the, the specific name, that's quite specific what the name is. Nice little graphics about my CPU, the memory, the disks. And then we're going off to see what my startup applications are. We could test it out and see with uh, Eric and then config how to start. And move you over here and say Clipman is out. And see if that's going to change anything. So better probably open it up, sublime text. What is it going to do? I wonder if we click on this one, if we click here, is anything changed? Hidden is false, hidden is true. So he's going to change one variable in this uh, thing. So clipman, which is this little thing here, won't be installed anymore and um, that's that and we have plank here and the same goes for plank variety and plank open it up so hidden is false hidden is true hidden is false so that's how he's taking care of it like so and you choose fine the package caches, package caches. Okay, if we click on this one, system cleaner, the package cache, let's see if that's gonna work. So, var, mm hmm, cache, yeah, pacman, yes, package, yes. These are all our caches. So, I wonder if I do this, he's going to find all that which you think is the correct one that's a little bit more i guess i don't know where is looking at this point in time but let's try it anyway so very clean i should i select something back package caches if i select all that's that so package caches this one and then clean nothing happens when i press this thing here 
Aha. I should click on it so it becomes green. And then, aha, that's normal. Because that's a, a really protected part of your system, right? Authenticate. Oh, it's gone. So it knows that it's uh, on Arch Linux and it needs to go in here. That looks like it's safe. This one I wouldn't know where it's getting this one. Probably some log or something. Crashes, crash log. Var log. Not sure which one he's going to delete here. So we have to click here. Zero bytes, okay. So not lots uh, to clean if you have zero bytes of crash, crash reports, reports, which is, I suppose, okay. Which is good, right? Application logs, maybe it's in here, maybe it's deeper in here, I don't know. Uh, okay, green, click. All right, <laughs> that's that folder, uh, that's correct. Application caches, mm -hmm. not sure where it's going to do that. Where are my application caches? There are some stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff for 308 megabyte. Is that in the cache then? Vivaldi, is Vivaldi in here? Vivaldi is in here. Default cache. Okay, clean it up. Yeah, that's in the dot cache and he's going to delete stuff. And the trash is probably just your general trashy thingy. Zero bytes, although, okay, not a lot, but it's, it's cleaned. So we've checked every little icon and seen what it does. So this feels safe to me. Not sure, but it feels safe. Accounts demon. We have uh, startup, we have running, and we have system services, okay? So, what does this mean? Startup at boot, and this means running now, okay. Do I need ADSL demon? No, not really. That's for all time's sake, I mean like 15 years ago or something. Mm -hmm. So, that's running. Avahi daemon. So if I want to check out my network, browse network, nothing is working. I can't browse my network. That's because the Avahi daemon is not working. So I want to do that. If I want to actually look at my network, I need to have Avahi active. So that's done. You see immediately pop up the stuff. That's good. What else? Bluetooth maybe, but that Bluetooth is active just for my uh, Bluetooth headset. Now I can listen to the music. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't really like all the sounds popping up. You know, maybe I've installed Deeping. Um, so it's it starts with music, it ends with music. It's, it's anything you do is music. And I say, oh, whoa, 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 too much. So no music on Arch Linux, but there is a tutorial. If you want to have music, it's a quick fix, quick installation to have some music if you want to. So Dbus is uh, okay, blues, blues is Bluetooth network, okay, fine. Otherwise, no internet. We are not using DHCPCD since um, we have network manager. Fan control, <laughs> okay. Glance the server, nope. All right. So a lot of services, I feel like it's almost like in uh, <coughs> the other operating system, yeah, you know, uh, doors, I think it's called, um, where you have all these services you can add and start and enable, you know. MPD player, maybe you like the MPD player, it's uh, more, uh, well, a, a backend. And in the front you have NCMCPP or something, I always forget, NCMCPP, that's the one. Um, that's a player and an MPD, that's the front end, eh? and the, end, the back end is MPD. We can install it if you want, there are nice scripts for that and tutorials for that. You can tweak it and theme it, beautiful.
So it's interesting to go over all these elements that you might, may want to do. There's even a transmission service. Hmm. Okay, so the U power, the info power management is on. This is one I uh, use as well, VN stats, but I use it for the Conky. So if you want to know how much have I downloaded this month, then you need to get this VN stat daemon up and running so it can keep track, otherwise, you don't know. Okay, next one. These are all the things that are going on. Looks like uh, refresh, okay. And we can enter process, that's nice. Not this one, haha. <laughs> and what this? System install packages, okay, a lot of stuff. And you can go search for it, that's good. Whoa, <laughs> how nice. A lot of information. Can we use Alt right mouse click? Yes, we can. So on XFCE, little tip. Look at your keyboard, the spacebar, left to your spacebar is an Alt key, press it, keep it pressed. Then use the mouse, right mouse click, and then you can do stuff like this. You don't need to go to these corners and try to, to find where it just changes your cursor, just in the middle somewhere, just how, choose how to make it uh, to resize it okay and then this one english okay espanol let's go for espanol do i need to restart anything nope should probably restart theme hmm. light who oh, no so much better default devices start page dashboard or anything else mm -hmm. Okay, how to start Stacer. Donate and feedback. So I wonder if we can get it in Spanish now. Uh -huh. Quit. No, because I want to check out if Spanish is successful. Nombre de host, plataforma en distribución versión del kernel. Modelo de CPU and Nucleo de la CPU. So yeah, it's uh, quite, it's working fine. Ah, <laughs> startup applications. Um, all right, so servicios del sistema and some things need to be still translated, but that's okay. Well, we get the drift. Let's get back to uh, anything else. Polska, Turkey, Vietnamese. So yeah, they'll make the translations in the future so guys this is uh, stacer you do you want it you install it i think it's uh, safe to use you've seen me check it all all out and you see things disappear to my left uh, here in, in this full in this um, uh, thunor image or, or window and um, yeah if you like stacer you can install it and you've seen all the options that are possible okay cheers